I do not live in hope. I work to return it. I'm sorry for whoever is watching, but I just wanted to see if I'm able to stream. But we do not care. Until they come fix the internet, I can't stream. Hello there. I'm recording this regardless, so maybe we get a good game against Valor. Win PTA as well, so that's good for him, I suppose. It hurts. In a proctor. I missed that completely. Taking a lot of the zap damage, but what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? I think as long as we remain in combat, it does our pets, so... Off that. nothing. Yeah. Sounds about right. I trade under my tower and then he just burst me down. I'm still under my tower. I does not watch. At least we traded, cause yeah, I guess. He's gonna keep shoving, but I have a cart. This just looking to farm, so. If I miss one thing, he's just gonna win the trade. Very, very hard. If he just lands his E, that, that that's enough to win the trade. Everything else is just a cherry on top. What's one more grave? Hmm. Against tanks, I'm gonna do this PTA. Not against Oliver. Fuck that. Better off just sticking to something else. Run. Just zones me off and then he just dies me. No oh, she got a kill down there, I guess. Down 30. Or something.
That's good. I have brand help me. Otherwise, you're just gonna get ultimate and just dive me off cooldown. She's probably gonna do it before I even get the tower. Again. Yep, yeah, here it comes. Gotcha, bitch! Or another. If my jungle was in there, I literally just die. I got to also swap the ears so you guys can see the rune. Really? I missed demolish. Not demolish. I missed corruption bot. I'm just gonna stay until uh, TP is back. I am the first and last of my order. Mm. You're gonna get this plate 100%. Oh, He's gonna get big value from that shield. I don't think I can do much about that. No, he was about to bite me and heal for free. Oliver is so silly. Yorick is so weak at the beginning, squishy wise. So he can gain HP, healing, and shielding while CCing and hitting everything. But very good base damage, and and we just really just have our pets for damage. Doesn't compare. Also, I missed my uh, thing. Demolish. But realistically, if I stayed and hit that, you could have killed me. So, just gonna take my back, come back with Cleaver, and TP back then. Cleaver. Grab my thing. Got the first hour. I should have attempted the wave clear. Honestly, if his uh, if I let it his E hit me, I thought he was gonna put it somewhere else. But how would I aggro him? I did decent damage right there, I would say. Finish my wall. I usually finish it sooner at seven, but I was being dope, so I just put points into my Q. For the, uh... What's it called? Damage. Not damage, the healing. Damage of Q doesn't matter compared to this. Do things feel sped up? Oh, whatever. What is it like a warrior? In case he walks down or whatever. He is missing. I don't have TP. Technically, no reason to even look about him. But nothing. Ah, shit. Here we go with you. That's a lot of damage. Bro? Nah. Cleaver back to the 30% is crazy. The way he instantly melted off the PTA and that is crazy. This this was like at 600 and it just instantly did like uh, it 85 bonus ish, depending how much it was at. That I don't fully remember. That's a big amount, I would still say. Straight line, straight line. Maiden is dead. Unless. Actually, dead. She flashed earlier. That's goody. We get an assist. Alright, since we're this ahead. 
I did want to try this, and they are very AP heavy. I don't know how much magic damage Corky still has. I think it's Q still has magic damage. But I'm mostly going to be fighting in these two, and I can just buy something else for armor later. If that grass, I would definitely go unending, just out the combination of those two. Unending cooldown is 5 seconds, grasp is 4 seconds. So most of the time when you proc unending, grasp is up. And most of the time you proc grasp, unending should proc immediately after two. Only bad thing is you have to be in combat and hitting towers is being in combat. So there's a chance of, you know, you know. Damn, he's about to get dope. I missed it. Hey, he killed him. He's gonna go do this then. They're gonna focus on him because he has a big ass body. I don't have to do He just has to run. If I can get enough magic lists and I actually group up next to them, that's gonna be great. I could do a funny group up build as well, to be honest. I was going to take a few of Cartus jungle camps, and then I remember he's Cartus. You'll probably be mad, and he farmed very quickly. And Black Fire Torch also does uh, which I'm gonna It does deal triple the damage, I think, or 20 extra damage to monsters. So from that regard, it's very nice. We have a very good farming jungle, so if I can be annoying to her, it'll be great. Anyway, I gotta go drop. I'm gonna TP. I wanted to TP on the cannon so he doesn't get it. I'm not gonna just let this guy take this. I just wanted to be annoying to them. I don't know where he went. Just sign. I know that my best shove this up before I reset for my item, and then I'm gonna decide whether hmm, where I'm gonna go with those at all. Don't bury me with it. You can't hmm, maybe I do go on. It does deal magic damage, Rampage. so it kind of adds a bit of more value to everything else. And if I'm grouped up, it's gonna just be better. This, this is a free void staff for Partisan Brown. And if I can just frontline these guys with unending and Janna, even though she's not gonna shield me or anything, but maybe she will if I'm in the front, it would be very nice. I'm gonna go meet Maiden back at top. I do not live in hope. I work okay. to return it. This is kind of low, so I can definitely rift it. I'm gonna go forward, but I'm honestly afraid because I don't know who may come. I missed her. Whatever. Let's keep going, rift. I just gonna make sure I gotta get out of combat so I can spawn. Rift, get out of combat with champions. Just in case. And that's no bueno. Oh. I missed it. I hate myself. I made him is dead because of that. Bro, that's the first time I ever missed that. Ow, oh, get away from me, bro. Okay. He's gonna ult. Oh. I'm gonna get pulled. Well, the ignite killed him. All right, we got an ending now. I think I can sell this now. I don't really need it anymore. Um, now we can go sky or whatever we want. I can even get this to be honest. Maybe I will. Because we have armor. We have magic resistance. Okay. Meanwhile. 
Oh. Nice. You guys got that red, right? Opium. <laughs> I'm gonna just ward him flank just in case. This gives 55. I think that's like five more. Yeah, five more in Gauntlet. But his valley comes and it's healing. Bloody Ace isn't bad either. But I haven't been able to proc PGA ever again since that one fight against Volibear when I melted him. But it's hard to get three hits in when most people are fighting away. But we do have a big level lead against him. Not a big CS one though. Okay. Decent magic this too. Only having two. Did you go in here and I didn't too? No. He teleporting. Okay. Night. Auto. Hide. Q. Fuck you. Whatever. That was good. Volibear damage is just stupid. But Corky was also not too bad. Yeah. The so damage is half and half, and in this fight, this room did like 300 more damage, probably like 230-ish, because it was close to 700 from before this fight. Honestly, if I had Sky, I'd probably don't die there at all. Or maybe I do go Sky. How much healing did this guy? I think this was the first time. They train healing, which is not bad at all. I could also just get a... Honestly, this wouldn't be bad. I don't know. I do want to try, but I know the game's going to end very quickly, and this is a very expensive we item. End. We begin again. <laughs> Whatever. Even I would have finished the game with this anyway. That or Sky. But I really want to be thick. <clears throat> and there's no reason for me to... Generally build any AP, even though I could. I'll just, I have to, I'll just hold this guy in case something goes wrong. Once they get into a fight, I'll just TP here and we can just end, because they won't it's really have a front line. We go. You did eat? Oh, I walked away. I'll leave people. Oh, that damage is insane. I still attempted to like slide hide away. Bro. Well, at least we won. Very snowball game. I would say it was a good game too. But damn. Seems like we gained 50 there. This will be where at 60 LP. We did more than Jinx as well, to be honest. 1k more, and she has like 10 kills, but we did, we do, we have 8. That's not too far off. But in the end, we didn't get to practice again, so this is way better against a tank that I'm most likely going to be able to auto-attack multiple times. Well, somebody with Volibear, I, I'm about to proc it and then he just runs away, but I also did play defensive at the last fight, so I didn't really get that up close that I would just kill him instantly. But still, we're sure gonna experiment with the build and see what works. But this is basically like somewhat of the double penetration build because this lowers the enemy's armor by 30%. This road lowers the magic resist by 20%. This this is for the ghouls, this is for maiden. And if you buy armor items that deal magic damage like an ending or despair, or you actually buy Black Torch or Leandris against an actual tank or if your team's lacking it. My team wasn't lacking it, so I didn't really dip into it, but I could have. It could work. But GG. Thank you guys for watching again. Later. I go. Water for the living. Shuttle for the dead.